Hello guys, so uh, this is uh, the solution to the assignment I gave on indices on our YouTube class. Okay, so uh, what do we do? I have a problem before us it's on indices. Now, how do we begin? Very easy. Uh, from this 10 to the power y, let's begin with this 10 to the power y. Okay, we know that from the law of indices that a, b, all raised to the power n is the same thing as a raised to the power n times b raised to the power n. Okay, and of course, uh, this is a condition that what well, that this basis they are what well, they are different. Okay, so that means we can also what change this ten to the power y to be what two times what five all raised to the power what y. Okay, two times five is same thing as what as ten all raised to the power y. So we have what uh, reduce this. Then of course then we are going to have here five raised to the power two y minus two. Then times this four is same thing as what two times two. It's same thing as what two raised to the power what two, isn't it? Okay, so we can also we'll break this 4 into 2 raised to the power 2. So I'm going to have 2 raised to the power 2, then into y minus 1 is equals to 1. Okay, I've seen the first step. Now, what do we do next? We proceed. This 2 times 5 all raised to the power y, same thing as what? 2 raised to the power y times what? 5 raised to the power y. Okay, because this will coincide with our what? With the rule we just gave that a, b, all raised to the power n, same thing as a raised to the power n times what? b raised to the power n. Okay, that means these two, if they are multiplying each other and they are different, okay, it's going to give us this. So that means that if this, since these two, they are different also, 2 times 5 is what is 10, okay, all raised to the power y, same thing as 2 raised to the power y times 5 raised to the power y. Okay, so we'll proceed. Then times what now? 5 raised to the power 2y minus 2. Then times 2 raised to the power. Let's open this bracket. 2 times y is what? 2y. 2 times minus 1 is what? It's minus 2. This is also equals to what? 1. So what can we do? What do we observe here? There are some common terms here. So we can rearrange this. Okay? So that let's bring this 2 close to this 2y. So I'm going to have 2y. Then times what now? 2 raised to the power 2y minus 2. Then times what? 5 raised to the power y, then times what? 5 raised to the power 2y minus 2 is equal to what now? 1. Okay, so they are the same. And of course, from our law again of indices that say that what? a raised to the power x times a raised to the power y, same thing as what? a raised to the power what? x plus y. If the bases are the same, we are going to what? Add the powers. Okay, so it's as simple as ABC. Let's apply it here. So I'm going to have 2 raised to the power y. Since this is 2 and 2, we can add these powers. Y plus what now? 2Y minus 2. Then times what? 5 raised to the power. The basis are also the same. We we'll add the powers. Y plus 2Y minus 2 is equal to 1. Okay? So now let us uh, simplify this. Y plus 2Y is what? It's 3Y. We want to have 2 raised to the power 3Y minus 2. Then times Y plus Y is also 3Y. 5 raised to the power what now? 3Y minus 2 is equal to 1. Okay, so what do we do next? Also, from the law of indices, we know we know very well that what we have a raised to the power minus two. We say same thing as what one over what a raised to the power two. Okay, so we invert. Okay, and then the sign goes off. The negative sign goes off. Okay, so if you do not know the laws of indices, please make sure you watch our episode on indices on YouTube. Go to our channel on YouTube, O Three Schools, and of course search for indices. Now. That means we can do this here also. So this will be what now? 2 raised to the power 3y all over what now? 2 raised to the power what now? This is what? Minus 2. But, but because we have put this division sign, this negative sign will go off. Then I'm going to have 2 raised to the power 2. Then, not plus, sorry, multiplied. We are multiplying times the same thing we are going to do here. 5 raised to the power 3y all over what now? 5 raised to the power 2. Then it's equal to 1. Okay, so we can simplify. Please, we are going over to this side of the board. Now, let us simplify. 2 raised to the power 2 is what is 4. So I'm going to have 2 raised to the power what now? 3y all over 4. Then times what? 5 raised to the power 3y all over what now? 25. Then it's equal to what now? 1. Okay. So uh, let us multiply these denominators. Okay. So 4 times 25 is what is 100. So I'm going to have 2 raised to the power 3y. Okay. Then times what now? 5 raised to the power 3y all over what? 4 times 25 is 100, then it's equal to 1. We can now cross multiply. Especially for YX student, avoid doing this thing. Ah, ah, cross multiply. Okay, if I am an examiner, I will assume that you have cancelled your work. All right, so please do not do that. Just simply what write cross multiply so that the examiner will fully understand what you are doing. So I'm going to have uh, 100 times 1, then this times what? This, this can also be 1 over 1. So I'm going to have 2 raised to the power 3y 
times 5 raised to the power 3y is equal to what? 100 times 1. Okay, so which is the same thing as what as 100. Okay, so let me not treat you like babies. Now, we can apply our rule again that what? A, B is all raised to the power n is equal to what? A raised to the power n times what? B raised to the power n. All right, so since this applies, as, well, as we did from the beginning, that means that what we can also say that what that these two raised to the power three y times five raised to the power three y is same thing as what now two times five all raised to the power what three y then it's equal to what is hundred in indices in index form will be what ten times ten which is which is as what ten raised to the power two okay so let me take this ten times ten out and just write the ten raised to the power two. Okay, now 2 times 5 here is what is 10. So I'm going to have 10 raised to the power 3y is equal to what? 10 raised to the power what? 2. Okay, so you are seeing that what? They are what? Equal basis. Equal basis. So we'll do what? We equate powers. Okay, so let's equate the Abido shakers. Now, alright, so I'm going to have what? 3y is equal to what? 2. So we divide both sides by what? By 3. That means, uh, therefore, it means that what? That y is equal to what now? 2 over 3.